All right, we got Coach Frost here and ready to go. Um, first question from uh, Robin Washett, Husker Online. Hey, Scott, I just want to ask you about that scrimmage on Saturday and just what were you guys were able to get done uh, during that session and maybe some things that jumped out uh, that impressed or uh, maybe even concerned you. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to get a lot of live hitting in, uh, but in a manageable way where we can try to keep the guys as healthy as we can. Um, there's no substitute for that. Guys need to be hit and hold on to the ball. Guys need to tackle in the open field. Guys need to uh, be able to do those things. We got to get our guys ready for a first game. Uh, having to fast track that a little bit because of how this schedule is played out. Um, I was fairly impressed with the running and hitting. Um, I thought the offense moved the ball well. Defense played well at times. Um, some good things both ways, but some things we need to clean up. Lincoln Journal star, Parker Gabriel. Hey, Scott, I uh, hope you're doing well. Um, I think Matt Lubick earlier in camp said that, that Adrian was a starter as of then, but the competition was ongoing. Do you have a clear pecking order at, at quarterback at this point in camp? No, I wouldn't say it's clear yet. Uh, Adrian's certainly playing well. Luke's certainly playing well. Uh, we feel like we got two guys um, at the top of that heap that are, are playing well enough to help us win games. Every uh, position is a competition. Um, we're going to have to make those decisions pretty pretty quickly, but I've been really impressed with both guys. You said, you said in the past that you prefer to pick a guy and go with them. Um, could, could that be different this year, or do you plan to you know play – one guy is your starter, and and he it's his job. Uh, that that's still my preference, but we'll do whatever um, is best to help the team win. Thanks. Twenty four twenty four seven Sports, Brian Christofferson. Hey Scott, I wondered if you had uh, an update on uh, Omar Manning, but also just your wide receivers, who's who's kind of impressing you, and how that that rotation is shaping up right now. Yeah, I think that's still a work in progress right now. Uh, when Omar's been out there, he's looked really good. He's been dealing with some health things that kind of kept him in and out. Um, we need him out there more consistently if he's going to uh, help us the way that we expect him to and hope that he will. Um, kind of the same. Uh, Wandale's been there for the most part and been nicked up a little bit. Elante Brown's been out there nicked up a little bit. Um, Cade Warner's been pretty consistent. It's been good to see. Uh, I've had some other guys that uh, look like they're stepping up. Um, so I, I, I think I'm pleased overall with the depth and the play at that position, uh, but that uh, needs to work itself out pretty quickly, who's healthy and who's available, and, and we need to get dialed in for the first game. Do you, do you expect Omar to be available right off the bat for you? I hope so. Omaha World Herald, Evan Bland. Hey, Scott. Uh, obviously, you guys getting close to actual football here. I was wondering if you could put in perspective just how much, uh, you know, red tape or new challenges this program's had to go through in the last few months just to get to this point and maybe what the attitude of the team and the support staff has been as you've kind of worked through these different tasks. I think the attitude's good. We're The guys are handling uh, – the added responsibilities to be compliant with um, our COVID regulations, they're handling that really well. Um, I think the guys are excited to play. You know, the last couple of months have been challenged mo mostly because we were one of the ones really fighting to make sure that we could play. I think it's the right thing to do. I think what we're doing is the right thing. It's what our kids wanted to do. Um, I think they're safe. Uh, we're gonna try to continue to work to make sure that they stay safe. Uh, but playing football this year was the right thing to do, and I'm glad we're there. And I, I hope our kids take advantage of this opportunity. Derek Peterson, Hale Varsity. Hey, Scott. Um, unique situation in that you changed offensive coordinator, but the new guy isn't actually new to your offense. Um, still, you guys have talked this offseason about sort of a, a, a more extensive than normal self-scout. I'm just curious with changes on the offensive line, um, a remade wide receiver room, and in what ways will your offense in 2020 look different from what it was in 2019? Well, there'll be some new guys, um, a few new plays. Mm. I don't I don't know how much anybody else will notice. 
follow up to that if I if I can. Um, defenses across college football so far have been have had a weird start to the season. Like Alabama gave up forty eight or so points from from your vantage point so far as an observer. What do you think is contributing to some of these upsets and some of these these shootouts? Is it does it have anything to do with this weird off season or, or what are you seeing? Yeah, I think it does. I think teams that handled uh, the off season better probably have a little bit of an advantage. I think the playing field has been leveled a little bit um, because of the circumstances surrounding this entire year. Um, I think if you have a team prepared, they can go out and compete. And I think you're seeing that a, a lot of close games and, and teams winning it probably um, in the NFL and college, it seemed like it's favored offense a little bit. There seems like there's a few more points, but um, I, I don't know if that'll happen in our league. There's a lot of really good defenses in our league, so uh, we'll find out in a couple weeks. Kevin Suits, 10-11. Hi, Coach. Nice to talk to you again today. Um, it seems every time we talk to your team, Cade Warner's name seems to come up. Uh, it sounds like he's having a great camp, and Austin Allen uh, seemed to indicate that he's maybe on scholarship. Could you confirm that? And then also uh, just share your thoughts on what kind of camp uh, Cade Warner's having for you. Uh, Cade's been a leader for us. The, the best thing he's done is he's been out there the entire time. I don't think he's missed any time. Um, if you're going to play, you got to be on the field. And he's been out there the entire time, done a good job leading at that position. Uh, there's been some other guys that, that have done a good job being consistent, too. Uh, Wyatt Lever is somebody that's really taken a step forward from O'Neal, um, doing a really good job. Um, and you know, there's too many for me to mention, but uh, Cade's done a, a wonderful job for us. Um, probably next week, I'll announce the, the walk-ons that have earned scholarships. I know there's been rumblings of a few and and we've probably reported one or two but um want to finalize all that before i announce it time for a few more here for coach uh sam McEwen, omaha world herald hey scott thanks for doing this today um i have two questions one they're they're not necessarily related the first one is uh, do you guys have any clarity on whether family and friends will be able to attend the games yet like whether it's at ohio state or at nebraska as the big 10 kind of firm that up do you do you have an understanding on that sam i'm gonna be honest with you i was on so many zoom calls with the big 10 all summer and early fall um uh, most of those calls take place on in the morning and we practice in the morning so i haven't been on one for a while and unless something really serious comes up i don't intend on being on one for a while i've got a team to coach so sometimes i'm i'm hearing about those things um after a lot of other people uh my understanding, at last I heard, is uh, friends and family are going to be able to attend. Uh, they're going to be awfully lonely in our giant stadium if they're the only ones in there. And my other question is about McCaffrey. Um, he's a dynamic player. I mean, he's got he's got a lot of a lot of dynamic athletes in his family. Are you guys going to consider playing him at positions other than quarterback? He's a quarterback. I want to make that clear. Um, Right now, our offense moves exceptionally well when he's playing quarterback. Um, he finds a way to make a lot of plays work. He's throwing the ball really well, and um, I don't think anybody has any questions about his athletic ability or speed. Um, if he's one of the best players to have on the field and he's not playing quarterback, then we'll certainly uh, look for opportunities to make sure that our best players are out there. The Athletic, Mitch Sherman. Scott, how are uh, how are things developing at outside linebacker? I know you've mentioned that during camp here as a spot where you um, you know feel feel like you need to see improvement. Um, have had a few position changes, guys in and out of that spot. What are you seeing from uh, the top players and, and some of the top backups there? Uh, I see improvement. Um, you know, if we just get the guys that we had last year playing with the right technique and and um, being true to their assignment, we'll be better at that position, right? right out the gate. Coach Dawson's done a good job with that. Uh, we've had a couple guys nicked up at that position all through camp, and so haven't had the consistency like I talked about with Cade. Um, nothing serious, but just guys missing a little bit of time here and there. Um, that's a position that, you know, in my time at Nebraska, we had some real guys coming off the edge. Uh, shoot, Dante Jones and Grant Wistrom and Trev Alberts and Jared Tomich and Vanden Bosch and the Kelseys and 
um, Rucker and uh, just a lot of guys. Uh, if you're going to have a really good defense, you need guys that, that scare people coming off the edge and do a good job setting the edge for your defense. Um, I've been impressed with the improvement I've seen it from guys of that position. Um, we need to get everybody healthy and get everybody ready for the first game. Lincoln Journal Star, Steve Sippel. Scott, um, how much you're a play caller? I mean, you focus on offense. How much stress does it take off you not having to deal with crowd noise? <laughs> it would take quite a bit off. I think you'd be able to think clearer. Last I heard, they're going to allow us to pump uh, artificial crowd noise into the stadium. Okay. Um, I didn't vote on that. I um, think it's annoying to have fake crowd noise in your ear all the time. I hope it's regulated and monitored so people don't have speakers right behind the visiting bench. And I hope it's, uh, hope it's conducive to e at least being able to think if we're going to pretend like there's fans in the stands and have fake noise, then uh, hope we're actually able to function. Time for two more. Uh, Michael Brunts, 24-7 Sports. Scott, what, what kind of progress have you seen from your special teams units uh, at this point? And, and do you feel like things are kind of trending in a good direction there for you? Uh, that needs to be a lot better. Special teams has been a thorn in our side for two years. I've seen better production from the specialists themselves. I think we're kicking and punting the ball better. Um, looking forward to seeing live bullets, uh, some improvements made on our cover teams and uh, block teams. Um, don't think we're there yet. Uh, we do have more athletes out on the field, so I expect it to be better. All right, and the last one, Parker Gabriel, Lincoln Journal Star. Hey, uh, Scott, I know you've been asked about this a bunch of times over the last few weeks, but do you have any clarity on, on uh, roster size or whether the testing program will have any impact on that front? No, I think uh, we're going to come to a point where we have to have clarity on that completely, and I'll let you know when we do. But uh, going into game week, um, I think that's, um, that's going to be the time where we're going to have to have all the answers and have everything buttoned up. And um, I'll, I'll let you know when, when we have uh, – some definite clarity on some of those things. All right. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Coach.